Hello friends, welcome to Me Paintings, I'm Veronica Me, and today I would like to create a special stone pour from my leftover colors. So these are all of my leftover colors from previous pour and I put them also in these kind of containers and you can store them in there for a few months and use them later on. And it's totally fine if you mix them together with some other colors like this, this one. I would like to mix this leftover with some sparkling colors sometimes these colors get very thick but it's okay you can still use them mix them with a little bit of pouring medium and nothing has to be wasted so yeah this is very old leftover color but i can still use it now it's a little bit watery now, but I would like to add some, maybe some pearl short rose. I don't know if I read it right, but it's a beautiful greeny color, which will be perfect for my stone pour. So I put just like a little bit of that color in and mix it together. Like this and it becomes more thicker yeah that's much better usually my leftover colors are weird color but that's okay because you can use unexpected color combination which you wouldn't think of so i'm going to put a little bit of this gold color in there like that now I can see that this is too thick, so I'm going to add a little bit more pouring medium into it. And if you'd like to see how I create my pouring medium, I will put the link down in the description box for you. And in that video I show how I mix my pouring medium. I use PV PVA glue for my pouring medium. PVA glue and water. Here's my cup, which is 200 uh, milliliters, and this canvas is size, I think, 20 times 30 centimeters, and 200 milliliters should be enough for this size. I'm gonna pour my white first on the bottom, but I'm gonna keep a little bit for later on. And then my dark darkest color, this is almost black, but I think it's a mixture of black and blue. I'm not sure. That's the beauty of leftover pores. You can be surprised by the color combination. And then my blue, which I mixed with royal purple. Let's cover it all. Now my gray beautiful gray color which will be perfect for stone pour also my greenish color which i mixed with that beautiful shiny green color and the last one is the one which i mixed with gold i would like to have some nice earthy tones and white on the Top. like that okay ready steady go so moment of truth Ooh, some nice earthy colors I can see and I'm going to spread it everywhere. Now I'm going to use my heat gun, which should create some more cells, small ones, which I want. I'm using cheap heat gun from Lidl. It cost me around 10 euros, I think. But it works well to pop these cells. And 
And I know these cells will grow into a little bit bigger cells, but it will be perfect. I'm gonna let this dry for about a week or so, and then I'm gonna show you what to do next. Hello, welcome back. After a few days, my pour is dry and it's nice and shiny, perfect background for my stones. And I'm gonna start by drawing stone shapes here in the middle on the top of each other. And for that, I'm gonna use my Stabilo Woody pencil, which is cool because it's watercolor, you can actually blend it. And I'm gonna start here on the bottom. So the biggest one will be here. I'm gonna try to paint the nice shape. Like that. Now the second one will be on the top of it. Maybe like that. Cool. Then third one. Time to fill all this background with my silver color. I will probably use silver and gray space um, for the for edges. I will put the link down in the description box for you if you'll be interested in these. Now it's time to blend my pencil, so I just put my brush in water and very easily blend it like this. gonna use this petal white and also Mars black and I'm gonna um, put some white here on these edges and then some black here because there is shade underneath each stone so let's do that a little bit of white you can also use just regular titanium white but because these are all shiny i i thought to myself let's make it let's make it shiny so these edges will be a little bit lighter And okay, okay, let's put some shades underneath these stones. And I'm gonna blend it a little bit. I always put my brush in water and then blend it nicely. Nice and this part also will be darker. 
So I'm gonna put some black here as well and blend it all nicely. It gives that stone its shape. And this is the result of my stone acrylic pour. I hope you enjoyed this method. It's a great method for those old boring pours which are lying in the corner. You can change them into beautiful unique pieces. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up or subscribe to my channel. You can also join my Facebook group Create With Me and show us your beautiful art. I know this took some time. It took me around 2-3 hours, but Take it as a way of meditation, just time for yourself and enjoy it as much as you can because it's a really tricky time and the moment we are under the whole lockdown, but I hope we'll be able to see our loved ones soon and create and paint with them together. See you soon. Bye.